Here we are in a state LaGrange at Fleming Circle. If you've ever spent much time on St. Croix, you will have heard of Fleming Circle. This is a wonderful property of about 20 acres. A uh, historic great house, which was built in 1870. And 10 houses here, some of which are duplexes. Each are on their own separate plot of land. Um, and there are also some vacant plots as well. There's basically a big teardrop circle road that goes through the property. The great house is located off on the southeast portion of the property. So there's some established rental income already in place so you could keep it as a rental community or if you wanted to sell off each of those individual vacant lots or houses, you could do that also while you rebuild this gorgeous great house. Um, it's had some wear and tear and some damage from the recent hurricanes, but it has a lot of potential. And as you can see from the brickwork, the historic aspects of this are really unmatched as it relates to architecture and character. And if you look at the old details in this beautiful coral rock that most of the property is made out of, it's just amazing. It needs a lot of work. But if you look, you can see some of the old original wallpaper, the arched entry. This would have been a check-in area if you were coming in for an evening dinner. You've got a large living room here. Rising ceilings. These would all open up to give you a beautiful breeze, lots of light. As you can see, the thickness of these walls is probably, I don't know, about three feet thick. You come in off the living room and into a hallway. And down on this side would have been the dining area with an outdoor brick patio. So this would all be opened up. Beautiful, massive mango tree that's growing out of the patio. You can see some peacocks on property and obviously some roosters. <laughs> but a really neat historic property just needs someone to come in and give it some love and care and bring her back to her former glory these are all we think these are 1950s vintage tiles six inch excuse me six inch square tiles this would have been the kitchen with a side door going out there where all the meals would have been prepared. And then of course, adjacent here is the dining room with outdoor patio space. Off to the left, another peacock. That looks like a female. The males have the long tails, by the way, in case anybody wanted to know. Big mahogany trees, two entrance pillars here. You've got a sunken copper there, which makes for a nice little koi pond. Shall we head upstairs, Steph? Sure. Lead the way. Okay, here we go. Oh, chandelier. Oh, you got an old chandelier hanging there. So we'll go up the main staircase here, which is where the, leads up to where the bedrooms are. To the left you have, I'm not sure if this was either a bedroom or a sitting room, but it, was a lounge. it could have been a lounge area. Yeah. It does have a closet in the corner. And then of course in here is obviously a bedroom. I love the wood floor. Yeah, these, are, these look like these are relatively new. And this is looking out over one of the, one of the buildings. A peacock. Yeah. Yeah. Big mahogany trees. Yeah, it's like a nice mahogany forest. And there's a big old... A steel water tank and then there's a full bath here off of this bedroom obviously in need of renovations but character galore and then this is another staircase that leads back down and I'm kind of thinking this was a bedroom because it does have another full bath off of it this is that lounge sitting room and then you've got a bath here as well. Just, you just don't see this anymore. Yeah, that kind of detail is hard to come by, all that gingerbread. Oh, it's beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Okay, then we'll shoot across up another short flight of stairs to the left. This got some, uh, yeah, look at the tub. This obviously, as you can see, got roof damage in the hurricane, but this was a full bath. And here we are back at the top of the stairs. And then off on this side is another large bedroom. Tray ceilings. Yep, the tray ceilings. This would have been door out the patio area. It's a project, but if you are a lover of history and you're looking to bring something back to its original glory, you know, you still have a lot of pieces. Uh, this is a mahogany railing, for example, that are all in good condition. Um, it's just a matter of going through it all and figuring out what you can keep and what you can't and uh, just start chipping away at it. You'll have yourself a really beautiful home when all's said and done. There's one other room. There's no light in here, so I can't really illuminate it, but this is another large room here with a full bath on that side. Looks to be about the same size as this room. Almost like dual living rooms. Although that would make a really good master suite with the full bath, because you're on the main right level yeah. with the guest bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, I'm getting old, I can't climb stairs. Exactly. exactly. Got your old S-hook tie backs for the, for the uh, shutters. And another huge mango tree here. Yeah, that's really nice. A welcoming arm staircase here. Look at that. Imagine all the family photos. That we're oh, yeah. Wedding stairs. pictures right yeah, here, right? Wedding pictures and everything. Yes. Okay, let's keep walking around through the jungle here. There is one of the rental units close by the great house here, which would actually make a nice guest house. If you were to live in the great house itself, this would be a great spot for your guest house. That's the window I was looking out from the bedroom there. There's the old water tank where you would be able to store water and gravity feed it to the garden. Another welcoming arm staircase up to a beautiful Danish brick patio. Yeah, what's that one say on it? Hayes, Hayes Run. Hayes Run. I wonder if that was David Hayes or the Hayes family. Look at this. Look at I love it when they build something this. around the tree and don't cut the tree. Down. Right. I mean, this thing is just amazing. It's got to be 100 years old or more. But that's the great house. So we'll head over now to the uh, to the larger part of the property where all the rental are. Oh, chicken coop. We'll take a walk over to the um, center of the property and kind of show you the lay of the land as it relates to the um, the ten different homes that are here. Oh, the sun's coming out! Yay. Oh, perfect. See you in a minute. Okay, this is the road coming in off of the corner main road, and then. The great house is located over here. I'm now looking south. Here's the one unit that I think would make a great guest house for the great house. And then you've got another one back there, another one here. As you can see, they're nicely spread out throughout the property. There's another yellow one there. And then another one back in there. They basically go in a big circle, hence Fleming Circle. But if you look at all of the screen space here, it's just a magnificent spot for a, a community. You know, you could do a pool, a common pool, clubhouse, tennis courts, and you have 10 existing buildings in place. So you've really got a good head start on a small development here. And as I said, you can keep on renting them or sell them off sell off the vacant lots and sell off the homes perhaps build some small spec homes on on the vacant lots a lot of different options so if you're looking for a good investment on st croix's west end with a lot of elbow room and a lot of space to grow and a really cool historic great house to boot this is worth a look so give us a holler and uh, if you want to check it out closer we can 
We can give you a, a drive through and a, and a good walk through on the guest ha on the uh, great house. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.